Aaron, can we talk a little bit about what you're seeing with the results and, and catch a glimpse into to what we might find? Absolutely. So the results that we've seen is that on average, the chisel plow, as well as the strip till, whether it's a shank or a coulter, right in that zone, that precision strip for the tillage, perform pretty equally. And actually, in a lot of cases, the strip till actually was warmer than the chisel plow. So they're very comparable, if not slightly better, than the chisel plow for warming up in the spring. Behind the chisel plow and the strip tills uh, came in the vertical till. That was on average about a few degrees lower in temperature on average this spring from March through June than any of the other tillage practices. But when we compare that to a no-till, it was still five degrees warmer on average. Okay. And that's from everywhere from March to here in June. And so if we look at compared to the extremes, the no-till, on average we had about 42 degrees Fahrenheit during that time. Versus the chisel plow and the strip tills averaged 50. So that's an eight degree increase in between those tillage practices across that spring. That's a good bit of biological activity and warming up for good seed germination and plant growth. Now one of the interesting things that also come along with it is looking at the water contents. Typically where there is higher temperatures there's going to be less water because water has the ability to store heat but not let the temperature go up. The pattern is very consistent with that too but kind of flipped around the other way. The chisel plow and the strip tills are drier than the other treatments. The vertical till still did dry down quite a bit uh, compared to the no-till. It was on average about 7% less moisture than the no-till. One of the nice combinations is when you look in the strip till. This is where it gets quite interesting there because in that strip till you have two zones immediately next to each other. You have this precision strip that's with a shank or a coulter that tills the soil allows it to dry down and warm up, but immediately just a few inches off to the side, you have extra residue covering the ground. It keeps it cooler, and it did, it kept it cooler, very similar to the vertical till, but not as cold as the no-till. But it also can serve water while still drying down and not being as wet as the no-till either.